Hello friends, welcome. So now uh, go back to here. Now like uh, second is the uh, uh, next thing is the uninstall methods. So uninstall method is different than the deactivation hook. So uninstall method is that when you delete, when the user delete the plugin from their sites. Okay. So when they perform the delete action from here, that actually remove the plugin and its file from their uh, websites. Uh, okay. So, uh, so there are some ways if we want to do something on a plugin on install. For example, that plugin provide a created a custom database table, or we want to remove our plugin settings from the database. Because let's if we if the developers do not do or uh, do not delete the custom database table or the or the data which are created or inserted by the plugin, then those data will be orphan data for that user side on the user side. And those data will be there forever because there, our plugin is plugin is deleted. So those data is uh, like it's not used. It will be just stay forever until unless uh, user or develop some developers delete it manually, right? So it's where it's good. It's a good practice to provide the uninstall method where we can um, ask users if do you want to delete the data when you delete the plugin. So if the user has selected that setting, and if a setting is selected. Uh, then we can uh, on the uninstall methods we can remove our data whenever the plugin is deleting or uh, user delete uh, user delete the plugin okay and there are two ways to for the uninstall method is the uninstall hook okay similarly similar as a uh, activation and deactivation hook and second method is uninstall.php file okay so uh, i will uh, we will already hence seen the register uh, uninstall hook okay and similarly it will work and then another method is uninstall.php. So I will go with uh, there is both both things are different. Uh, both are the same, only just different way to execute your uh, functions when the plugin is deleting. Okay, but uh, I prefer the separate uh, file. So I will just copy this file name, go here and create that file. Okay, uninstall.php file, and just add a header. Um, perform uninstall uh, perform uninstall function functionality something like uh, functionality okay so yeah now um, if uh, register uninstall hook we if you use then it will be executed uh, whenever the plugin is deleting but on uninstall method we have to check whether this constant is defined or not because uninstall piece is a separate file and what if uh, this plug, uh, this file have been included uh, directly. So we don't want to uh, we don't want to delete the data uh, accidentally, right? By loading that file. So what we can do is like we can just uh, define this constant, okay? And if this constant is defined, then and then only uh, we will do a deletion part. So I will just simply uh, here. I'm just following the WordPress coding standard, so I'm just adding the space and everything and the tab format okay so if this file called directly uh, and it is plugin uh, sorry this constant not defined then it will simply die it won't do anything okay so it will save um, like our data or the user's data okay so yeah and as i mentioned like you can delete options and you can drop a table and anything you can do in the uninstall method so there are two uh, uninstall method one is the hook and second is the file okay See you on our next video. Jai WordPress.